the Sports Desk is sponsored by Jim Butler Chevrolet, the Midwest's number one Chevy dealer, 10 years running. With just 10 games left in the regular season, City SC has a legitimate chance to finish as the top team in the Western Conference. That's where they sat coming into tonight's match in Orlando, but unfortunately City was not able to pad that lead at the top. Good to see this guy back though. Klaus got his first action since April tonight. Scoreless first half, but Orlando pounced right after the break. Baku Torres beats Berkey 1-0 Orlando. 78th minute now, the new guy, Anthony Markanich, a clutch pass to Rasmus Alm who ties it up. No goal on the field, but video replay says good goal. But VAR giveth and VAR taketh away. Markanich gets called for a debatable handball in extra time and Torres buries the PK. City falls 2-1 to one in a brutal finish. Yeah, we learn from these good moments. We, we learn from the, the negative moments, of which, you know, there's not too many. Unfortunately, the scoreboard doesn't give us any credit. Um, but we have to live with that. And we, have to, we have to go on with that and, uh, yeah, take it for what it is. Um, and we have to turn around quickly because Wednesday comes fast. The Cardinals continued their series with the Phillies, and a national audience got to see them get bludgeoned tonight. Here's their one highlight. Lucan Baker crushes a ball for his first career big league homer. Good for Lucan. Other than that, nothing. Here's a super cut of the Phillies teeing off on Dakota Hudson and company. Philly launched three homers. They beat the Cardinals 12 to 1. Thanks to last night's heat, we got some prime time high school football matchups tonight. Let's check in on both sides of the river. Back to back state champ St. Mary still have the coolest intro in town. They hosted Marco Sansone, Ryan Wingo and Slew. Junior Bills kick things off. Sansone finds a wide open Zach Allen for a touchdown. Then it's Wingo time. He acts like he's going to punt. but We know better than that. Watch him turn on the Jets for the first down. That's why he's a five star folks. But it wasn't just Slew making plays. The Dragons David Leonard finds Antonio Strong. Big time gain. At last check, SLU was winning this one 38 to 21 late in the game. Let's go over to Illinois. Modern day visiting Columbia. Big play first for the Eagles. Mason Vogel in the air and Lucas Riebling is going to haul it in. Nice catch. The modern day offense would air it out later. Trenton Zeeb hits Nick Lampy in stride. He finds the end zone for six points. Then Zeeb is going to do it himself. He runs one in for another touchdown. This would end up being a close game. But the modern day Knights come out on top. They beat Columbia 22 to 14. Tomorrow is Bomberito 500 day at Worldwide Technology Raceway. The race is right here on five on your side and there may even be a special guest on hand for a ceremonial first lap. Once the race gets started, drivers will have to contend with an alternate tire rule on an oval track for the first time this IndyCar season. And they're going to have to dethrone Joseph Newgarden, who has won three straight Bomberito 500s in St. Louis. You're basically taking what has been the tradition for years and years and throwing a monkey wrench into it to see how people are going to adjust. And this is something that's been done on road courses for many years. Uh, so it just adds more strategy into the game. So it's basically whoever can get a hold of that the, the quickest and figure that set up, that strategy out, that's going to be a key component of this race. But again, you know, Joseph is the oval master. So anybody that's going to beat him, they're really going to have to work hard for it. Looking forward to another great day of racing. In yeah, but who's the special guest? I, you got to watch, find out. Tomorrow. We got to wait. You'll recognize him. <laughs> Have a good weekend, my friend.